Hi everyone, this is Nifty Thrifty Girl featuring uh, one of two Kenmores that I'm going to try to get on today. Um, this first one is a convertible. It is a model 1560. Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar and might be just beginners, be beginners, I'm sorry, a convertible machine means that you can use this machine as either the flatbed, as you see it here, or a free arm if you need it. Now, a convertible machine is great because you can use the machine both ways. And if you've done any sewing at all or you plan on really seriously sewing, you will find that this is a very necessary machine. Um, the free arm, as you can see, is accessed all the way around the center post. That means that pants legs, sleeves, and smaller items are very small, um, easy to sew when you can access all the way around without having the flatbed there. Um, this is a um, probably a mid-70s Kenmore. I'm, I have to look. Um, it has the feed dog drop. It has stretch stitch and regular stitch. Your stitches are accessed by the knob here on the top. Your bobbin winder's here on the top. It is double needle capable. It uses standard class 15 bobbins, which is here in the front. It is a low shank machine that uses standard 15 by 1 needles as well. Of course, like all of our machines, this machine is cleaned, serviced, and ready to work upon delivery. Just smudge some oil across the top of it. Um, these machines don't last very long, so if you're lucky enough to go over to eBay and find this still available, you might want to grab it because like I said, they are very handy and convenient, and once you get a hold of one of these, you'll never want to let it go. And I'm going to slide the extension bed back on. Now it's back to a flat bed. Now if you need to access your bobbin and you don't want to remove the whole bed, it's very easy to do by just lifting this front lever and oops, there's your bobbin in there. So if you're using it as a flat bed and you need to get into the bobbin area, you just lift that panel. Now this is not a perfect machine cosmetically. Um, I'm going to lift the camera up here. And it's hard to see. I'm going to have pictures, of course. There are some very minor scratches and dings along the bed uh, on the deck here that go that that go down to the metal. Of course, this is not a big deal and it does not affect the operation of the machine. Your feed dog drop is here. Here's your power. Um, this is your stitch length. This is your stitch width. This this middle knot, this middle here, changes you from regular to stretch. Um, this is your reverse, and your stitches are accessed here. Um, pretty basic machine. A PDF copy of the instruction manual will be emailed to you after purchase. You just have to send me your direct email address. It does come with a few things. Um, it comes with like I said, it is a standard low shank, so the accessories and feet are easy to find and inexpensive, especially on eBay. You get a couple ballpoint needles. You get some class 15 bobbins. You get an adjustable zipper foot, which is nice for cording or zipper. You get a hemmer foot and a button sewing foot. And that's that. Um, this does have the automatic buttonholer built in. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yes, buttonhole built in. So the manual will explain how to do that. And as I said, if you're lucky enough to still find this listed on eBay, you better grab it. I will have another one coming up soon, but, you know, it's never a guarantee that it's going to be available when you find it. So as always, I'm going to show you how the machine goes here. And as I said, just like always, our machines are serviced and as soon as you get them home and take them out of the box, they are ready to go. You don't have to do anything to them. Um, check our feedback. We have a nice reputation. We try very hard to reassure buyers that they're getting a nice machine. Um, this has decorative stitches on it, which is one thing I really like about this model. It has like a scallop and a diamond and like the domino block 
a lot of the convertibles just have basic stitches and they don't have the decorative. So this one is a little nicer because it does have a few decorative stitches as well as basic, like the triple point zigzag, the zigzag, and the blind stitch. And this also, it has the nice feature of the feed dog drop. A lot of the convertible machines um, don't have a feed dog drop and you have to have the special darning plate to cover the feed dog. So the fact that the feed dogs drop and this is a convertible is a definite plus. Um, there's your scallop, there's your zigzag. Makes very, very nice patterns. Let's switch around here and do a, a stretch, which is just a flip of a dial. Now we're in stretch mode. And you can actually make your own stitches by like setting it on diamond but putting it in stretch. It makes a really cool stretch stitch. It's not even on the dial. You can't hurt the machine, I mean, just by trying to create your own stitches. I mean, it, it's just, you know, it's kind of what it does. There's your stretch stitch. You can see the fabric working up and back. It's a nice machine a lot better than anything you're going to find on the shelf at Walmart right now and it's got all metal internal parts. Um, the cam stack might be plastic, I have to check on that, but I mean if the cam stack's plastic, big deal. That's not a major working gear inside, so a plastic cam stack is no big deal at all. It's never going to affect the, you know, the internals of the machine. Um, this is denim, this is real denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. I'm going to give it a couple folds here. There's two layers, three layers, four layers. I'm going to do five layers of denim. And like every other Kenmore machine, this has very, very nice clearance under the machine, under the foot. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to sew that thick, but it lifts so that you can get your fabric under there without snagging it on the feed dogs or, you know, trying to force something that's thick underneath. A lot of the whites and other models, dressmakers, don't have this lift and when you're you're, mess, you're you're doing a thicker project it's hard to get the the fabric under the feet. Well Kenmore is very nice in the fact that they have the most lift of any model. Um, this is five layers of denim as I said with a 16 needle. Oh we're still in stretch. Take it out of stretch. Flip it around there. There we go. Of course, it's not an industrial machine. We don't list our machines as industrial. They're not. Oh, my needle came up red when I did that. Let's thread that puppy back up. Easy to do. Let's bring it down. Thread her up again. Oh, my needle might be. barbed, but it's not. Thread her right back up. No big deal. Get the denim back under there. Here we go. And you know, even when you do have a heavy duty machine, you don't want to fly through the fabric sample. You just, you don't do it. That's stupid. You'll break your needle. I mean, it can always get out of sync just a very little bit and you're going to break your needle. So why be it and fly through it. Give the machine time to work and it will. Very, very nice stitch on five layers of real denim. That is the convertible Kenmore model 1560.